go. Oh. Water in? Yeah, it was. You get all that on video. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Now. So the wind is coming from that way. We are under sail power. Okay, that is some wind. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> this is better than Sunday. It's steadier wind. That was kind of cool to jump in the water and just cool down a little bit. I'm so glad I got that first little lesson with the wrist stick because I'm like, I uh, at least understand this part. It's a rigging, I didn't get it. Yeah, everybody, everybody's a little different on that. I've watched a, a ton of videos on how to rig these little boats. Uh huh. Okay, I'm going to try turning and seeing if Judd. we catch a little, well, just a little bit to see if we catch a wind. I think we will. It up a little bit. Oh, there we go. There's one. <laughs> now I've not gotten the hang of these extensions. Extensions? The sink is an extension. Right. So that that lovely thing on that. Yeah. I could sit up there and uh, still steer it, which is, if you're doing a lot of racing and stuff, you really this is really where you want to be sitting. Uh, you can be more aggressive, and then you've got this to put your feet in, your legs in, so you can lean out. Oh, <laughs> could have been bad. Stay low. Funny thing is, when you're sailing alone, you you get a feel for it because, like, as soon as you realize the main sheet is loose, it's probably going to come your way. Well, I mean, we got some lift here. <laughs> I love it when you can hear the water. Really going. Bye. They say you're supposed to pick a spot on a, on land to, to keep your bearings and use right. that as an aiming point, but you have to keep changing it depending on the wind. But it's just a reference. Yeah. Oh, there, 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 there. I can get up there, but... I mean, Arista told me that you want it as wide as possible when there's, there's wind to grab. If there's wind behind you, that's true, but if... Uh, I mean, I've also heard and seen a lot of videos about how it's like an airplane wing that pulls, the, pulls you even if you're going kind of into the wind, whereas if you're going downwind, you have to sail out like that. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the wind wants to do. This is totally fun. Yeah, this is fun. Let's just go. Eight hundred dollar boat <laughs> with a trailer. Yeah. Well, you know, I read when I was first getting interested, I read somebody that said you can get into the sailing for the cost of a DSLR. Not that much. But I could spend a lot more on a DSLR than eight hundred. Oh, yeah. You could also buy a cheap DSLR, but. 
This is way more fun than another camera. Yeah, you got it. Uh, yeah, and I'm not that interested in DSLRs. I like my iPhone. <laughs> and so, where'd you put your camera? In that little thing? Oh, it's in the Okay. I think because your weight is in here, I gotta figure out the best way to position my body. But if I sit too close to the ground, I can't turn the pillar. I wonder if you do that move the top I would think that this would want to go in the other way. I think that's why I did. Well, um, what I read was that you want the thin side facing so it creates less drag, but you and, and the water comes off there to hit the pillar. So everything I read says you want the sharp end edge forward. You can pull it up a little bit and see if that yeah, you're gonna need it all the way down. So I've seen them in racing, like they'll pull it halfway up just to create less drag. Uh, but it does create stability. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can turn it. harder. <laughs> this is way further out than I was in someday. Going right at the dam. So the plan is we're going to go that way. Here we go. Have a little watch that come at you. Yeah. It's, it's, I like being down here. It's really nice having it all the way up there because right. I just have to duck a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wind might just be a bit more dead once we get in this cove. I well, I see a lot of um, ripply stuff though. Yeah. I'm just going to stay a little bit to the lead side. You know, that, that would be the lead That's side. Right? Is there an opposite of the lead? Windward. Whatever side the wind is hitting. The wind, the wind, the wind. <laughs> I can always come back here if you don't want to. I mean, I'm fine. I can try it. I think it's going to die out, but I think it's going to be fun sailing. You know, Buckeye, Buckeye is about two or three miles an hour or more, and, which would be pretty great. I need a little bit more in here. How about a shanty? All the game for bees and tobacco. Spent so many gin down on dust, we drink some gin. Up the western ocean, we have won the day. in the head, and the head has been the best. Since it was the game we show with me plunder. The incense of bees and snakes, and I'm full of pains and aches. Across the western ocean, I'm a Again for beers and tobacco. Spent all me ten down on South Street. And across the Western Ocean we must walk. Coordination 
to it, where you've got the, the filler in this hand and, and this range here. And then when you do that switch, slightly back toward the beach just oh, so that we're not uh, so we're doing it all at the end, yeah. But one pass is fun too. Thing that's kind of cool is if you just want to stop the boat, you just basically let you know, let this out, right. and then it would come back. I'm just paying attention to the to the uh, tree over there, and they do say you know. Chiseling away. That's how you go into the wind. You can go as close as 45 degrees into the wind, but you can't go directly out of it. You can go at these angles. And that's where that lift thing comes in. There's, there's no coming out of those. And he goes, but you know, people sail all the time, they don't know this stuff. Right. Right. But here's like what I said to Penny, I said, you know, you can be soft without knowing why you need to go to the hospital. Yeah. 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 Just visiting and talking is probably agenda. Yeah. 
Absolutely. It's such good, just like chill time. I wouldn't really be running. But... I think it's amazing too how like you can go right up the shore. I know, it's kind of like uh... It's nice to know the tiller doesn't get damaged. Uh, this would not get damaged, but it would be oh, look at this. Look at this. Chimes thing. Sales. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can't tell if that's Quentin's drama. You know, it might be on yeah, some level. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's a marketing guy, so he's got a job to do. But I'm still curious if it's really make or break. Like, next season doesn't happen. Right. They don't it's like, I mean, thousands. you think that when the bank signed a fucking mortgage for the boat, they're like, so what are the things that could go wrong with both? <laughs> yeah. Maybe like, well, the sales would need to be replaced in five years. Get out and push and then hop in the boat. All right.
almost. Yeah, keep turning us. Nice, nice. Off the bungee. No, I, I took it off at the beach. I got it. This is just good experience. Yep. And it's very like mild and safe. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like a bunch and of rocks. <laughs> yeah. The shoals. It certainly could be. Our wind's just a little bit bad right here, which is a problem. Keep it kind of pulled where that, where this doesn't hang down too much. Just. That was interesting. That thing was tied around here. This thing. So it couldn't really turn. I don't know if that was the source of trouble or not. But... It's a very calm. The you know, wind died right at the moment where we needed to grab it. Okay, it's just. The other day when I was out here, <laughs> this guy was like, "If you need me to tow you back, let me know." <laughs> oh yeah, the wind can die, I mean. Well, you can lose a sail, I mean, there's yeah. different things that can happen. Looks like, in order to get wind, we have to... That thing held really well. Yeah. Camera. That was really strange when I was just going right to the shore and it was like, yeah, I'm going to hit the shore. So the main thing I worry about is the sun. I'm not worried about the sun. Yeah, I think 50 feet off the shore is a good thing to stay away from all that grass stuff. Because yeah. it's not like you're hitting things hard, but it's a drag, obviously. That's not a good thing.
my son, my son. Oh, yeah. It's fun. If you're really starting to go over, just let go of this. And then it well, but I was trying to keep that speed up. I think they, well, you kind of do, but I think the last one, <laughs> we're so new at it. I'm not sure we're racing it, so. Well, it's a good experience. I really need to see red stain on this from some of the stuff that they had covered it with. And I got this. I think I should put on top of the sail that is a little ribbon that you can see the wind direction. Yeah. I've seen those. It totally makes sense. Put your feet up a little bit.
kind of has different things. You know, and, and you were kind of caught a little bit oh, yeah. at a time that wasn't really convenient yeah. in our lives. You still found a way for me to go on a long sailing trip. She had tried it out here once, maybe, but she said that when she saw my video, it looked like a much bigger lake than yeah. when she did it. So yesterday I met Jack Wright in town. Did I yeah. send you the link? This video, yeah. I did, right? Okay. And that was just like first effort. Zeke's gonna do the commando thing, but and I gotta find. Trying to find somebody who can do a little, little banjos visuals. That Frank gave me a name. PJ somebody. Oh yeah. What time do you need to be done? Yeah, that's fine. Five minutes. Okay. It's a great experience today. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we have to come out and do hours and hours of sailing. Right. No, no. It should be something that's spontaneous. And, uh, yeah, if you have a three hour block of time total, probably more than enough. Yeah. From the time you think of it to the time you get yeah. home, it's about a three hour. Yeah, no photos taken. They're taking pictures. This is what's like it. Yeah. John told me that the one time they got out of that lake was a sailing at that lake. Look at this. We weren't able to do this a while ago. We were having to go that way. Yeah. Before. go back into shore right at the last second you do a quick turn so that you don't bump yeah. the front of the boat and you pull the thing out. Mm -hmm. Well we didn't let you do any sailing today. That's all right. I mean I feel like I've been sailing. Next time I mean you can we'll just oh you're doing a steering. True yeah that's true but next time we'll switch places. Yeah. Sail out pretty far and let's see if it wants to catch something out there. You can see right on the water how, like, there's wind right there, it's choppier. I 
just don't let it. There are things that you can clip on there that keep that up, which I, I'd like to fix a little bit by them. Just, they're just like little, uh, little things. <laughs> gonna come in huh?